So you might be in a situation where you want to go ahead and connect your Joy-Con to your specific Steam Deck. Now doing this is very basic. The first thing you want to do is you want to hop inside of your Steam Deck settings. So click on your Steam button right here and then go and click on settings, which is right here. Now what you want to do is you want to go and scroll down until you see a little option that says controller. So what you want to do is you want to go and click on controller right here and there's going to be a couple things that come up. Now what you're going to want to do is you want to go and click on your Bluetooth settings, which are right here. So all you're going to want to do here is go and enable Bluetooth and then it's going to start searching for devices. Now what you're going to want to do on your Joy-Con, you want to hold down this sync button that's at the top portion between your left and right buttons. So you want to hold down that button and you're going to start seeing a green light start flickering back and forth between the top of this specific Joy-Con. Now when you see that, as you can see, it'll go and pop up on your specific Steam Deck right there. So all you're going to want to do is tap on that Joy-Con just like this and you will see that on your specific device, it'll go ahead and basically, you know, it'll basically see it. So you want to go and click here, you want to make sure it's connected and you will see that it should connect at some point. Now, sometimes it's already paired. So if you go and click on here, basically you'll have to put it back into sync mode. For some reason, my Joy-Con's being annoying. So once it's in this mode again, I can go ahead and just tap here. And I can go ahead and just make sure that it's discovered on here. And then you should see that at some point it will go ahead and be paired on your specific device. And that's it. Now, if you make your way over to your controller settings, you should be able to go ahead and see if you want, you should be able to kind of pair up your specific, you know, Joy-Con again, a little bit better here. If you want to go and calibrate some settings, you can use the Nintendo button layout, which is interesting because they have that option there. But that is it. Once your Joy-Con is paired, you are pretty much good to go. And that's basically how you do it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that means so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.